I think the statistic is that like less than 1% of university students are involved in any sort of um, ministry or church in downtown Toronto and there's 200,000 undergraduate students there and over half of those students are international students coming from and a lot of them are coming from like unreached people groups so there's just a lot of opportunity there um, like many students have literally never heard the gospel or ever heard the name of Jesus. We both had different callings, I feel like. Um, mine kind of came through a different route. I always felt called into working alongside a church or ministry in some capacity, and I really wanted to work with college students um, because I was so greatly impacted by the ministry in college. I like really struggled through college, uh, just had like a lot going on and really wrestled with my faith like my freshman and sophomore year. The church we went to was like 1,200 college students and like many full-time staff that were there just for the college students. There were just staff that just um, kind of took me under their wing and were really parental to me and it was really my first time being discipled, like where somebody took me under their wing and was like, I'm gonna show you the way of Jesus, and started feeling like convicted and started hearing the Holy Spirit's voice. We'll just be um, family there and just being a light there, but we'll also be like actively on campus. Like we're already a like uh, student org on campus. Our hope is just to reach University of Toronto students slash just like all university students in Toronto um, and just invite them like into our homes. Just wanting to like disciple college students so that they can make more disciples. It was just very clear to us that God was calling us as a couple into some sort of ministry. Um, we had been invited into many different uh, mission fields, but we got really excited about all of them, but then it was very clear after taking time to pray about each one of them that it wasn't the right one. And then this like specific Toronto opportunity kind of came up out of the blue. Uh, it wasn't what we were thinking. <laughs> it was what God was thinking. <laughs> yeah, just the fear that I had of not being ready and not being able to do the work they called me to do, um, but he just kind of spoke to me in that moment and was like, I'm calling you to this and don't tell me that you're not ready because I'm making you ready. It's in Romans where it says, like every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. And I just felt like when I read that, the Holy Spirit just whispered like, yeah, in Toronto. And like, you're gonna be there. <laughs> 